All right, guys, today we're going to look at some doubles court positioning. Now, I'm currently running a tennis academy in Huntsville, Alabama, and I spend a lot of time helping people to move and position themselves in the right place. Now, today we're going to look at Serena, and it's going to be a great example of what not to do. So as we start the point, everyone is stood in the right place. We've got the service partner looking to volley, and we have Serena defending the middle of the court in case Venus hits the ball up the line. So this is a good position to be in. Now, if Venus returns this ball cross court, both volleyers need to follow the ball. You need to move two steps in the exact direction the ball went. So let's say it gets hit cross court over here. This volleyer, this service partner is going to move towards the middle and Serena is going to look to cover the line and look to get the volley. So it's going to turn from this team attacking and Serena defending. And if the ball goes cross court, um, this girl, Nuskova, is going to defend. Serena is going to look to volley, right? Pretty simple. Let's see what happens. Now, so far, so good. This is a tough, tough return. Serena looks like she's aware that this ball might might get hit up the line. So she's defending what Nuskova might hit. But this return gets cross court. Now, as soon as Serena realizes that this ball is going to get past the volleyer, she can move forwards and look to attack. And the faster she does that, the better. So she has to wait. If this volleyer is lively and she's looking like she could get it, Serena can't really move anywhere. But I think at this point, right, Serena should start noticing that she needs to move forward. She's a little slow. I also think that Nuskova needs to follow the ball and move towards the middle a little bit, just in case the server now goes up the line because we have to cover this gap down the middle of the court. But let's, uh, let's run it forwards. Now, I do think that as this ball is getting hit, as I said, Serena's a little slow getting in, into her position. This player, Nuskova, is watching Serena. She needs to be covering the middle of the court. This is her job to cover the middle of the court. Always expect that your partner is going to go up the line intentionally or accidentally. And if they do it, you need to be positioned here. The average club player, this ball gets hit cross court and they stay too close to the net. Ball gets hit up the line and boom, there's a massive space in the middle of the court. So, yes, as we run this forward, she's kind of doing her job a little bit. Nuskova, Serena's a little bit late. Now, as this ball gets hit cross court, everyone again needs to move where the ball went. So the ball gets hit cross court, everyone moves in the exact same direction. Nuskova's not really had to move too much, but this is where the real error comes, is Serena looks like she has no idea what planet she's on. Because you need to be aware that this ball could get accidentally or intentionally intentionally hit up the line and if this happens and this volume gets it there is a massive space up the middle of the court you have to expect this to happen she's not even looking in that this direction serena needs to be watching this volume here so as this ball gets hit up the line serena still hasn't noticed she's still in her own world over there and only now She's looking, this, this gap is huge. Serena should be stood here, but she didn't follow the ball as it went by her. She just stayed close to the net. So there's a big ass space right here, right up the middle of the court. Now, Venus now has to cover this space and start running across the court, which means the volley that's hit pretty crap up the line now becomes a winner. So either that ball gets hit up the line into the space or Venus has had to leave her station to go cover uh, Serena's error, and now a crap volley's just hit right up the line, and it becomes a winner. So, um, I mean, that's it, really. Hopefully that made sense, and uh, I'll be doing some more stuff on this. I think it's pretty interesting. Let me know if you've got any questions. Talk to you soon.